Have you ever wondered why our modern communities are so spread apart? Hi, I'm Shirley. I live in Toronto, Ontario, a vibrant metropolitan area that currently lies on 7,000 square kilometers of land. But it wasn't always this size. In the last 20 years, the Greater Toronto Area has grown by a staggering 500 square kilometers. The cause of this is urban sprawl. By definition, urban sprawl is the outward expansion of city's limits to provide for growing residential demand. But in reality, it's far more problematic than that. Sprawl leads to increased car dependency. It makes it vastly more difficult to create public transportation methods that can service everyone, and to use emission-free means like walking or biking. And the consequences of heavy car usage are clear. Reduced air quality, depleting natural resources, and climate change, driven by the greenhouse effect. Urban sprawl also contributes to the idea that bigger is better, whether it be large suburban homes, large vehicles, or large products. This idea is unsustainable on all counts, using energy and resources that could otherwise be conserved. And then there's the obvious issue. Sprawl? Not very ecologically friendly. With suburbanization comes torn apart ecosystems and a loss of diversity. In Ontario alone, a thousand square kilometers will be converted into residential areas by 2021. Most of this land is home to hundreds of diverse species. These issues are magnified by the fact that sprawl is occurring everywhere, from China to India to Venezuela. Cities around the globe are expanding as people move towards urban settings. This means that air pollution, climate change, and diversity loss are also occurring everywhere. Unless we begin to curb urban sprawl with a global effort, the consequences could be far-reaching and devastating. Luckily, there are solutions. Future housing construction can occur in your city centers, since urban density is proven to be more eco-friendly than urban sprawl. Efforts to protect green space outside of cities can be legally strengthened. We can model after places like Paris, which has five times the population density of Toronto, a highly effective subway system, and a low dependency on cars. I believe that effective environmental protection comes from something more than shutting off the lights or turning off the taps. It's about making lifestyle changes that affect us every moment of every day. It's about committing to eco-conscious practices, such as living closer to where we study and where we work, relying on low emission forms of transportation, and promoting sustainable urban development. I've researched the effects of human presence in ecosystems. I'm also a volunteer at Greenpeace. I'm ready to learn more about sustainable living while visiting the natural beauty of Costa Rica. I've seen the effects of sprawl on my city, and that is why I want to work on a solution as a global citizen.